you guys arrive at the lost city of the elves and you guys walk up and you see five heroic statues as nature is taken back over and you wonder what has happened here hello and welcome back to black magic slide into my dms wylock scotty today i bought uh, these uh... russian toys they're like russian fantasy style toys these are uh... i sell these on amazon i thought they were really great uh... i just got inspired and i was like these look like would be great as heroic statues and a terrain building situation and i really like when like when nature starts to take over things and it I really like that and how overgrowth and just you know you get to see how big the the whole style is so today we're gonna grab some XPS foam and uh, we're gonna make into a slab of a rock a rock slab I suck at explaining things. Uh, it's literally some blue XPS foam. You can buy this at any hardware store. Lowe's. I bought this at Lowe's, and it literally cost me about like I think like I want to say like twelve dollars, but I feel like it's probably a little bit more than that. Uh, what you see here, I am uh, taking a a lighter, and you can use a heat gun or a blow dryer for this but I like to use the effectiveness of a lighter the, the lighter acts pretty fast and uh, it makes a pretty nice rigid rock style uh, I, I don't really like the flat surface so I was gonna add a little bit more I didn't want it to just be a flat slab I wanted this to be like they did take other rocks and you know they just just carved into it so uh, also, uh, grab a little chisel here, and I am literally just pulling out parts because you know I wanted the rock to look natural and everything else. And so, as you can see here, and that's what you got as your rock shape. And so, I'm going to put uh, some Mod Podge on it first. What I think I learned to do is put the paint on first and then Mod Podge it. Because Mod Podge just, I mean, I think the paint will kind of dissolve a little bit. But if you kind of want more of that rock texture for something like that, I suggest if you want to put the paint on first and then Mod Podge it. And then, uh... I think that adds a little bit more detail, but I did put Mod Podge first, so that kind of ruins the whole effect of more of a, a rocky texture. Uh, but other than that, it's. Uh, but I but I feel like that's that's something that can that, that that can be done a lot more. So as you can see, I added more rocks. I didn't I didn't put that in the tutorial, uh, but it's it's just the way as you go. Uh, you know, it's it's your build. This is how my build was gonna look. Uh, I did start off with some white acrylic paint. It's just straight up white. I always start off with a base of white, especially for rocks, because you know they always have that like rocky white texture into it. And then uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I, I always start with like a white and then a gray, and then uh, I usually dry brush it with a white again. You know, it, it kind of adds the effect of like like a, of a light rock and everything. So I cover it with all of the white rock and everything. And so I went with over it with a gray. My gray was starting to dry out, so I did get over it with a with a gray 
You can use any type of gray you want. It could be a darker rock. It could be a lighter rock. Uh, I try to like braid up. So if I do miss any other spots on the white, so I can literally just flat out miss it because I will be going over it with the white again. So it would look perfectly natural. So I could just, I was just uh, painting my one of my miniature, uh, not miniatures, but uh, one of the statues. As I wait for it to dry, you know. Uh, as you can see here, I did. I was gonna add a little bit of a, a dry brushing of a metallic. I wanted these to be like a, a special rock. Like, the City of Elves uses a different type of rock that's like nowhere else can be found. Like, so, I did a little bit of a dry brushing of that. It did work out pretty well. You can't really see it on the video camera, but if you do see it in person, you can see some highlights of it. And it really adds in a little nice little uh, added detail. I suggest if you want to do put a lot, go ahead put a lot. Or if you want to just make this whole thing gold and make everything pure out of gold, <laughs> go ahead. But, uh... It just adds a nice little effect and detail into it, so. I am uh, applying it to the, I want to say miniatures, but they're not. Uh, I would just say statues, uh, straight up. Uh, they were pretty easy to apply paint. They are kind of slick enough, so I do suggest you probably do want to prime it up and everything else. And uh, so... Here's me adding the glue. I am using Eileen's Tacky Glue. It does stick pretty fast. I don't really suggest putting uh, super glue because it will kind of melt it if you do miss it with the Mod Podge. But uh, if, you, if, that, if that's all you got, you can. You can always add some foliage later. And it's me totally adding some more into it. And uh, yeah, I liked how it turned out. And uh, this is the final phase. Is uh, you know, I all I got is uh, the peat moss and stuff. I am applying some glue. It's just standard normal school glue. Uh, all you have to do is just put that on there, and it's literally done right then and there. Uh, I, I really suggest you smash it in there. You won't hurt it as much unless everything is still wet. Uh, so yeah, just apply it on there, and you know. At the end, just blow it off or just tap it out, uh, and that's how it will stick and everything. I suggest to be doing that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just add it where you feel comfortable, where you want to add it to most of it. So, like, like I said, it's just it's way that you want nature to take over, or if you want it to be somewhere else, so. It's literally your build. This is a, you don't have to follow this. It's just a little rough tutorial about how I did it and, you know, how you could be inspired for it. You know, I am on Reddit, so people said they felt inspired about how it looked, you know, when it was already being built. So, I do like the idea. So this is the finished product about how it looks and I gotta say I'm very impressed by how it came about. I literally saw these on Amazon and it literally just really spoke to me and stuff and it was literally legitly the best, you know, thing that I ever came up with. And uh, I did also, I forgot to also, I bought some sheet moss at Walmart. It's pretty cheap, probably about like three dollars, and uh, I also put a little bit on top as well. That's the part of the video I didn't see. I didn't really attend to make this into a video, but towards the whole thing, I just wanted to do like a review first. But then I just I just started to record what what I wanted, and so the quality of the video was pretty bad. <laughs> so 
But yeah, this is eventually what the whole thing looks like and stuff. And uh, yeah, this is what eventually what the finished product looks like. They are bigger, they are not 28 mil. So just to let you guys know that, that these are not being the standard sky, uh, size. So these can be, I, I really wanted to have this in my campaign. And uh, eventually they would be uh, entering a bunch of, like a lost city uh, of statue, like, like an elf city. And uh, like I really wanted like nature to take over. And so that's what eventually what it came about to be. And so... Like I said, I'm very impressed about how it looks. It's, uh, like, if, uh, if the paint ever chips off, you can always add more moss because nature is eventually taken over and, you know, it's, uh, that's what, that's what I intend it to be. So, if, uh, if paint or if something chips off, just add more moss and, you know, eventually you can, uh, I mean, I, I didn't want, I didn't also want to, add too much overgrowth as well but if that has to be the case I would eventually would have to add more moss to it but yeah I am I am thankful for this build uh, if you guys want to see more I do have a couple more coming up um, I say subscribe uh, I probably will be posting this onto my main channel I will probably make it on my second channel I do have a second channel uh, if these videos do get pretty big or popular or whatever or shared around a lot I will probably be posting them onto my like my my personal channel because I do like making these builds and you know I also like also like seeing other people's builds and everything and I also like want to inspire other people who who want to make some you know these are pretty pretty simple builds and these are you know literally anything else also uh follow me on patreon I do have a Patreon, uh, that's also for my main channel, but it can also be helped out for my personal channel too, because, uh, my Patreon is, uh, it's been out for a while, and, uh, you know, this is something that, that helps me buy more supplies or anything, and or upgrade whatever I need to get, so, yeah, uh, definitely, uh, you don't have to, it's about a dollar a month, there is a five dollar tier as well so five dollars a month to to a dollar a month so not too terrible pricing and you know these are you know this is uh this is my most impressive build that i have ever built so i appreciate it you guys uh have a great day or night uh but yeah definitely definitely